In mammals, the lower jaw is composed of one single bone. This one single bone, called the dentary, not only provides the attachment points for muscles, but also articulates with uh, the rest of the skull forming a jaw joint. However, ancestrally, the lower jaw was made of many bones. So when we look at fish, amphibians, and reptiles, there are numerous bones in the lower jaw. Throughout evolution, what happened was that these other bones became smaller and smaller, and the one bone, the dentary, became larger and larger. As uh, we look at the mammal-like reptiles, many of these other bones were reduced to a bar on the medial side uh, of uh, the lower jaw, a bar which still forms in human embryos. Eventually, two jaw joints existed. Not only the ancestral joint, uh, which uh, from reptiles between, and these illustrations, the red and the yellow bones, the quadrate and the articular, this jaw joint was on its way out. But then also a new jaw joint was forming between the dentary bone and uh, the temporal bone of the skull. So some of the mammal-like reptiles have two jaw joints, the reptilian joint, which is on its way out, and the mammalian jaw joint, which is slowly uh, developing. Eventually, all of the bones uh, from the reptiles in the lower jaw are lost, except this one large blue bone, the dentary. However, uh, some of these bones are given new functions. Because the uh, bones which used to form part of the reptilian jaw joint are near the ear, uh, early mammals modified these and used them as middle ear bones, which amplify hearing. So mammals, in general, have much better hearing than reptiles. A reptile, uh, for example, a rattlesnake, can't even hear its own rattle. And these uh, bones in the mammalian middle ear, two pairs come from the jaw joint bones uh, from reptiles, and the bone which supports the uh, eardrum uh, is the angular bone here in this animation depicted in pink. In human embryos, we can see three little bones, the angular, the quadrate, and the articular, move from the jaw region to uh, the ear where they become incorporated in the ear apparatus. In marsupials, embryos are born with these bones in the jaw, only later do they migrate in the ear. So over close to you know 100 million years, the multiple bones of the lower jaw slowly became one large bone as the other ones were reduced and eventually uh, disappeared. Some of them, however, were modified for use in the middle ear, which improved mammalian hearing.